What's up? This is Gregatron. I gotta talk about this, man. This woke culture. This woke mess. This is what rubs me the wrong way. So I've been on YouTube since 2008, off and on. And I try not to talk about politics because I know a lot of people ain't into that. They ain't trying to hear all that. So I try to keep it, you know, mutual. But this is just common sense. Like, I don't even think of this as political, which that's how they'll take it. But this woke stuff is garbage. Like, every character who, maybe not every character, but a lot of characters who I grew up loving or movies, they try to twist it. And this video is going to be about when they switch the person's race. And I'm just like, why? Why do you need to do that to attract more viewers? Why do you need to do that to make more money? Like, and for example, I'm gonna talk about the Little Mermaid here. So now Ariel's black, right? But it's like, why does Ariel need to be black in order for black people to go see the Little Mermaid? Like, black people already love the Little Mermaid. I know I do. And not once did me or my siblings, not once did anybody in my family that I know of say, man, I don't feel comfortable watching this movie because the main character is not black. What? There's other movies out there where the main character is black. So why take somebody who's been white for the last 30 years and make it black? It's like, I don't think black people even care that she's been white this whole time. Like this is a this is a movement that they're trying to push. This is an agenda. Just make everything woke. You know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. And there's a lot of movies like I said out there like that. Like Lord of the Rings. I I was watching Lord of the Rings in 3rd or 4th grade and I love Lord of the Rings. To this day, to this day, but not once growing up was I like, man, I don't feel comfortable watching this movie. There ain't no black people in here. Like I wasn't even thinking about race growing up in the early 2000s and in the 1990s. I didn't think about race, to be honest, till Obama was the president. Because I remember whenever somebody criticized him, they were accused of being called racist. So it's like white people couldn't just disagree with Obama because of his policies. It was automatically because he was black. That's when all this race stuff got out of control. But anyway, back to what I was saying, like Lord of the Rings. I love Lord of the Rings. But it's not because they're white. I mean, we had elves, we had wizards, we had hobbits, dwarves. There's all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> But not once did I say, man, I just feel left out. Because that's the universe they were portraying. That's the picture those people were trying to paint. Like, some characters don't need to be changed. Like Bruce Wayne. You know Bruce Wayne has to be white. Somebody like Clark Kent, Superman. He has to be white. Like James Bond. Everybody knows James Bond is white. So people like that, why would you come in and just make them black just because? Now, there are some characters out there who it doesn't really matter if they're black or white. Like Nick Fury, he used to be white. And then when the Ultimates came out, they made him black. And some people disagreed with that, but it wasn't like a big deal. Not to me, because Nick Fury is one of those characters who could be black. Like, it doesn't matter if he's black because he's kind of like a side character. He's not like Bruce Wayne or Clark Kent, who we all know is always white. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is this. There's a bunch of black superheroes and a bunch of black characters out there. You got Steel, who is probably my one of my favorite. He probably is my favorite black superhero. You got Green Lantern. You got Static Shock, you got Storm, you got Vixen, you got Black Panther, you got Mr. Terrific. 
You got all kinds of mugs out there. You got Blade. And white people love Blade. But it's not because he's black. Like, white people don't go to these movies and say, man, I'm going to go see Blade just so I don't appear to be racist. They're like, no, I want to go see Blade because he's a badass who goes around hunting vampires. Like, that's it. Like, like I don't like Chuck Norris because he's white. I don't like Michael Jordan because he's black. I don't like Jet Li and Jackie Chan because they're Asian. I just like them because they kick ass and they're good at what they do. Michael Jordan's good at basketball. That was cool seeing as a little kid. Like, I can talk about this all day. You don't need to force the characters to switch color just to make people happy because the movie's going to sell. I was I was about to say it's going to sell regardless, but it's actually going to sell less now because you're making it woke. Why not just make a new character? Like, Steel, John Henry Irons, he's a different Superman. He's a human, and he's just smart. He's like a mechanical engineer. He's super mechanically inclined. He's like the black Tony Stark, basically, but he's not rich. So he had to use his resources and his mind to build a suit. And now he goes around and helps people in his neighborhood and outside the neighborhood. He's a separate character. That's my point. You don't have to make Clark Kent black. Just come up with somebody like Steel, who's black. And now they can work together. I mean, this is just basic stuff. Another thing, the Spider-Man movies growing up, the Raimi films from 2000, 2004, most of those people were white. And I did not care as a kid at all. Like, that did not bother me. Now, Robbie, he was always black in the comics, so he's going to be black. But Peter, Mary Jane, everybody was white, for the most part. Kirk Connors, Doc Ock, them people, Green Goblin. But it was never a big deal. Because I'm used to them being white in the cartoon. And there were some black characters in the Spider-Man cartoon in the 90s growing up. But when I watched the new Spider-Man movies, uh... Far From Home? Is that the first one? Far From Home. No Way Home was the last one. Oh, Homecoming. Homecoming was the first one. And that movie was so woke, like, everybody was a different skin color. I'm like, they're pushing this so hard it's to the point where it's, like, distracting. Like, there was a scene where he's in the bathroom talking to the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent on his little watch. And then some random Asian kid comes out of the bathroom stall and then Peter's like, oh, like he didn't know there was somebody in the bathroom. But I'm like, they just threw that Asian kid in there just for the sake of saying, we have an Asian person in this movie. And then the teacher, she was Mexican. And then Mary Jane was black, or half black. Her parents were, one was white, one was black. So Mary Jane was biracial. It's like they were pushing this stuff so hard, it was like distracting you know what I'm saying? His best friend was like, uh, what was his name, Ned? He was like Hawaiian or something. I'm like, come on, y'all. Like, As a little kid, I didn't care what color you were. If you're a good character, you have good character development, you help people, you kick ass, whatever it is you do, that's all that matters. Like Static Shock, I remember that show. He was black, but his best friend was white. Gear. I didn't like Gear because he was white. I like Gear because he contributed to the show. He helped Static. He built his tech. He enhanced his suits. And, he, and Static went from having a trash can lid to fly on to a... It was like a like a fan blade, but it would go all the way around and create a like a giant disc. That's how smart Gear was. And these are high school kids, by the way. But yeah, this is just ridiculous. Like... I don't know what else to say. Stop ruining characters just to make a small percentage happy. Just work on different characters. That's it. That That's all you have to do. Buzz Lightyear was woke. Little Mermaid is not woke. Uh, Lord of the Rings is woke. She-Hulk is woke. 
It's like, when does this stop? Like I said, stop ruining my characters. Because everybody knows if it was the other way around, y'all be pissed. If they made a Black Panther Part 2 and the main characters were white instead of black, y'all be pissed. Black Panther can't be a white man. Well, T'Challa died in real life, right? So what if they replaced him with a white Black Panther? Y'all would be pissed. But if Falcon is Captain America, it's all good. See what I'm saying? You can't have it both ways. What's that saying? What's good for the goose ain't good for the gander? It's like, you're pushing so much diversity, but you don't want to have it the other way. You want to force the trans stuff and the black stuff and the gay stuff, all that. But you're subtracting all of the white people. Like I said in that new Spider-Man movie, there's like hardly any white people. I'm like, where's all the white people? This is weird. <laughs> it, it, it really is weird. And you got to think too, black people are only 13% of the population. So you're not, you can't expect to have a bunch of black people in a movie that takes place in like New York City or some. You know what I'm trying to say. Well, actually, New York does have a lot of black people. Like, you got the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, but you know what I'm trying to say. Just. And the sales are going down when y'all do this. Disney, sales are going down. Y'all need to look at these things. These are things we need to look at. It's crazy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this video right now because now I'm just repeating myself. But let me know what you guys think. This woke stuff is straight garbage. Straight garbage. And look at Dragon Ball Z. Those people were Saiyans. They came from a different planet. I didn't care what color they were. All I cared was they came to Earth. They fight. They save people. Some are good. Some are bad. You got good Saiyans. You got bad Saiyans. You got good Namekians. You got bad Namekians. There's good humans. There's bad humans. I mean, Dragon Ball Z had people who were built like foxes and and dogs and cats there was dinosaurs in dragon ball z like color meant nothing to me growing up zero and now all of a sudden everything's just so polarized and i was born in 92 by the way so i'm not that old so if you're a so I'm a millennial. What came before that? Uh, Gen X? If you're a Gen Xer, I want you to hit me up in the comments. Because I know y'all see it even more different than how I see it. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Peace.